Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome back to the another video of Spring Security Framework. Till now we have completed our five videos. If you haven't watched those videos, I strongly recommend it. Just go through those videos. It will help you to understand our upcoming video. Okay, till now we have completed this uh, user configuration with the help of in-memory authentication. So what's the agenda of this particular video? We're gonna configure our user detail with the help of one other component. It will make you understand how whole this Spring Framework component is working and you will understand each and every component the authentication manager and password encoder and user detail in like you have after this video you have a like whole idea in your mind uh, the diagram we have discussed previously right now you will gonna see like uh, practically and uh, we will see in theoretical way also and we will see uncoding way also okay and uh, before moving to that our video part if you have this thing in mind hey Ashwini why are you using this uh, uh, no op password encoder this is deprecated man yeah, I know this is deprecated, but we are using, uh, we are taking a baby steps to learn this Spring Security Framework. So that's why I don't want to uh, like skip anything. Okay. Yeah, I hope you are getting it. Okay. Now back to our topic. So our today's topic, we're going to configure this with the help of other component and the component name is in memory user detail manager. So just read these four point after that you will have one idea. If you not get it after reading this also we will gonna see in a uh, coding way then you will have a perfect idea okay and this video gonna be uh, uh, very interesting so okay i need you to be focused okay so let's see read it one by one spring in memory authentication uses in memory user detail manager internally store to store and retrieve user detail information which required for authentication okay got it this is used for storing and retrieving your detail uh, user detail which you want to configure in uh, like an uh, upcoming manager okay? and just leave this we will see this and so whenever user request for any detail the request will filter to the password authentication the authentication manager pass to authentication manager which try to authenticate the request by user detail now just go back to that uh, diagram thing authentication manager I hope now you're getting it right. It uses user detail service. Okay. Yeah. Now thing is clear. Three. Uh, third point that is user detail service is responsible for retrieving the correct user detail in memory user detail it indirectly implement this user detail service interface. Now in memory user detail manager reads in memory hash map. So one important point it internally manage that hash map to store all your details. Okay. Now load the user detail by calling load user by username okay now you are getting it fourth point once detail user detail is uh, loaded by uh, in memory user detail manager and authenticate is successful the security context will update and request will be proceed to the dispatcher sublet if you are familiar with the spring mvc diagram you getting to know like what is a dispatcher subletted okay it transferring your request and all it will just be resolve all things and at the end request come to the dispatcher and even through to the client okay yeah we are not talking about here because our focus is spring security now if you are uh, getting it like what is spring uh, like this security context not a spring sorry uh, security context so you are now getting it right the security context will update and uh, request will proceed now let's get back to our coding part and we will see how we're gonna configure that. So let me uh, just comment it down. Mm, yeah. And we will use our authentication. So do not worry about code. Do not worry about any single method. I will make you explain each and everything. Okay. So you will not have any doubt uh, after this video for sure. So what do you think? Let me, uh, this is now you are familiar with this thing, like with username and password authentication. These are the same thing, right? But the one thing is changed here that is build. Okay. Because we are using this in memory user detail manager. And this is, uh, we, uh, that the spring, uh, security is used for loading a data and retrieving a data and the and a syntax for that just declare making your user detail and load into the memory and use this authentication to put this all these uh, data into that user detail service okay which is uh, this user detail service method which is expecting the object of this this is a detail service pretty simple uh, this code is okay what is doing here we are getting to know but then also i will let you know i will make you explain each and everything but one thing is missing here i have told you in previous video 
like we are setting a user detail but we need a password encoder okay shall i run this program uh, what do you think uh, it will uh, produce an output let me run it then we will see but it will not produce an output for definitely it will throw an error okay it will throw an error like uh, hey buddy what are you doing i need my password okay i can't do anything without password <laughs> okay let me show you yeah let's come here and we will say localhost and we have protected api that is uh, account right so i will say here what is a uh, thing we have set up here that is admin with authentic uh, like one two three four right so let me show you admin and that is one two three four error right now let me take you to the console clearly it will give you error okay there is no password encoder map to the id null okay so now i proved that point like we needed that password encoder okay now remember this for authenticate or for just checking your this user password whatever you are uh, doing here we need a password encoder so let me give you the password encoder to this spring okay so whatever we'll do public and we will say password encoder okay and we will say get object or get instant whatever you want to say so return and we will say yeah we will copy paste this one because at the end we need this instance right same thing it will return the instance now one more thing we are returning an instant but it will not available to the class path like spring is not capable of looking at like whatever happened where the object is right so wherever the dependency inject where should i inject that dependency i don't know where the component is okay so i need to be say bean annotated with bean and when you are annotated with bean uh, your method you need to configure this uh, uh, configuration but we already done that because we are doing our configuration thing in this class okay so do not worry about it yeah we have uh, said that okay take this object this is a method or responsible this method is responsible to give you the no op password encoder right so just take it and do not say me uh, just take care about it okay <laughs> spring framework take care about it yeah now can i run this application let's see then after looking to the behavior then we will see the coding whatever the each and every client meaning okay so now my application is up and running let's come here and we will say okay let me take another one localhost and we will say balance it asking for admin and we will say one two three one two three four yeah your balance is this now you got it now i now same thing will happen with this one user one okay you can try by on okay no problem the same thing will happen there now let me make you understand the coding uh, what we are doing here so the first thing first uh, we have discussed this why we are using this that's why we are declaring the object and we are making an object right now we have this user detail because it is using it let me take you to here it is using a user detail and uh, this user detail implements user detail manager right inside it so it we are just creating a user detail with the help of user and we have this method inside it admin password and build after that we are putting all these methods for all these detail inside the create user okay now when what it will do let me make you explain uh, take here so um, yeah here let's suppose this is your container okay this is container and few objects you are already put into that and whenever you say uh, from the spring framework like create user whatever you are saying like create user and you are passing here some details okay like you are saying create user and you are passing some detail let me copy this only uh yeah you are saying this okay create user and here whenever you are passing any user detail here okay it will come to that container a particular uh, place where we it is storing all the information and spring framework will check okay for this information do i already make an object or not if it is not making then it will store and if it will make it will not store okay this is a uh, idea behind it i will show you practically what is uh, going on here so after that it will create a user and all the detail we put into that user detail service okay you have any doubt i don't think so it is pretty simple okay so yeah let me show you one thing 
what happened uh, this is a just like interview question here we are putting an admin and here also if i put an admin then what will happen and by this topic by putting a username with the same detail your uh, uh, this doubt will be clear like what happened uh, when we are uh, doing this ad create user let me show you in a practical okay now run this it will throw an error for definitely i have mentioned this point into the notes also if you want those notes uh, just let me know okay just comment it down uh, yeah can you uh, see here error creating with the bean spring context filter okay why it's coming let me show you the reason i have uh, just noted down here also like what will happen uh, uh, what i will add user with the same name so it will throw an error because uh, in memory uh, because in memory user detail manager class create user method spring check if user exists before creating it got it yeah so this is all about uh, this particular video i will gonna see you in next video okay till then see you take care bye bye